in the world of hip hop, we often hear about the Sugar Hill Gang and their groundbreaking hit, Rapper's Delight. But did you know that the true origins of rap can be traced back to a gospel group from the 1940s? Join me as I dive into the history of the Jubilaires and their unique contribution to the birth of the rap music. Welcome to Bear Reacts, where not only do you get a reaction, but also a little history about the song or the artist. Today, we're going to talk about the Jubilaires, a group that revolutionized music and laid the foundation for the rap genre as we know and love it today. Many people believe that the first rap song was Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang in 1979. Here's Wonder Mike, Hank, and Master G, the Sugar Hill Gang. However, the Jubilaires, a gospel group from the 1930s, were actually the pioneers of this musical style. The Jubilaires, consisting of Orville Brooks, Ted Brooks, Caleb Ginyard, George McFadden, and later on Willie Johnson were known for their unique blend of spiritual folk songs and Jubilee-style singing. Their music was both entertaining and educational, with many of their songs based on biblical stories and events. Their most famous songs include Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition, Noah, The Preacher and the Bear, and God Almighty's Gonna Cut You Down, Go Down Moses, which was later popularized by Johnny Cash. The Jubilaire's influence on rap music can be seen in the rhythmic speaking or singing style, which was a precursor to modern day rapping. They were also one of the first groups who syncopated rhythms and storytelling in their music, a style that would later become synonymous with hip hop. Despite their groundbreaking work, the Jubilaires have been largely forgotten by the mainstream music industry. But it's time that we give them the credit where the credit is due and recognize the Jubilaires as the true pioneers of rap music. Well, it's time to react to the great grandfather of the modern day rap. So roll that intro and we can get into Noah by the Jubilaires. Let's go. <laughs> He declared that the evil was a sent of man And then he decided to destroy the land He spoke I can to see Noah, it. I can hear Noah it. stop He said, Noah, I want you to build me an ark I want you to build it three cubits long I want you to build it big and strong I want it 50 high and 50 wide So it will stand the wind and tide is oh, oh, Noah, oh, oh, Noah So funky, man, I like it Oh, Noah, I got to go to ride on the wind and tide But it's a ho Oh, no, oh, 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 o
Dude, if you cannot hear <laughs> the rap in that gentleman's voice, if you can't hear it, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. That man was rapping. He was rapping. They may not have known it was rap back then, but it was rap. Dude, so re- dude, so BET sitting there celebrating the, the 50th anniversary. The 50th anniversary of rap music or hip hop. And it's been around since ni- the 1930s. Think about it. Think about that. We are almost in the 100 years of hip hop. Not 50. They're off by half. They're giving credit to the Sugar Hill Band, Sugar Hill Gang, but it's not. It's not. It is this group. The Jubilaires are the first hip-hop group. I'm going to say it right now. They are the first hip-hop group. There is no way that it could be anything else. That man's rapping in that song. He's rapping. He keep, they're keeping time. It's crazy. It's crazy. I never would have thought that there was going to be hip hop in 1930s, in the 1930s. That means it's technically older than rock and roll. Because I think rock and roll was the 1950s with the architect himself, Little Richard. Hip hop is the 1930s. The 1930s. 30s. Think about that. Hip hop has been around longer than rock and roll. Hip hop might have been around longer than doo wop. Crazy. Crazy. These guys are from Florida. These guys are from Florida. So hip hop started in. Florida. Hip hop started in Florida by the Jubilaires. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think hip hop started in the 1930s with the Jubilaires? Or would you still give credit to the Sugar Hill Band? Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear the debate down below. I hope you all have a good day. God bless. And as always, deuces. Until next time. Keep the spirit of music alive, and let's keep rocking. God bless y'all.